Good morning student. Today we will learn sequence and series. As an introduction, I should remind you that even number sequence, odd number sequence, prime number sequence as well as Fibonacci sequence. Yes, it is named after the great mathematician Fibonacci. So, all these sequences are following some rules or pattern, but prime numbers you cannot find any such rules which it is followed. So, it is a sequence, it is not a progression. Sequence which is following a definite rule is called progression. Now, the question is where we are using the sequences, where it is useful in day to day life. Suppose you are depositing amount in your bank and you are getting interest, it will form a sequence. Suppose you are traveling by a taxi, your fare will form a sequence because first kilometer it will only 15 rupees, second kilometer it is cost more 8 rupees and it will increase by 8. That means it is forming a sequence with a rule which is also under progression. Now, each term of your sequence or each number of your sequence is called term. Now, I will give you some examples for sequence where certain sequence will follow definite rules and some of them will only follow the pattern 1, 3, 5, 7 and so on. Each term exceeds by 2 from its preceding term. Another sequence 0, 2, 0, 2 and so on, it is only following pattern. Each number of the sequence is called term. We are denoting the term by a1, a2, a3 and so on or t1, t2, t3 and so on. Now, after sequence, I will come to progression. As I said, progression means a sequence which follows certain rules. Let us now understand arithmetic progression. A sequence is called arithmetic progression if and only if its term exceeds by its preceding terms by a constant. Let us understand the arithmetic progression by the help of some examples. Suppose it is 10, 20, 30, 40 and so on. The first term as I said it is a1, suppose it is 10. How I will find out that constant difference between two terms? Second term minus first term, third term minus second term, fourth term minus third term, everywhere you can observe that is common and that is constant. So, that is why it is called a common difference between the terms and denoted by d. So, 20 minus 10, 30 minus 20, 40 minus 30 is 10 and this denoted by d. In general, we are representing the arithmetic progression by a comma a plus d comma a plus 2d comma a plus 3d and so on.